All right, well, it looks more like winter today, and it looks like we're going to see more of that as we head into the overnight and accumulations are going to happen, but no watches or warnings currently out for us, but we'll continue to keep you updated if anything does happen. But looking off to the west, more snow back into the Arrowhead of Minnesota, northern Wisconsin. All of this will sweep its way eastward as we head into the overnight, and we'll probably see our best accumulation amounts as we get closer to the Porcupine Mountains and western UP. Farther east you go, seeing less and less of that accumulation amount. And then by tomorrow evening, it looks like the snow showers will eventually begin to subside, and we'll see more of an isolated chance of snow by tomorrow night. For the here and now, we are seeing 37 degrees though with light rain, not snow at the moment, but we did see that earlier today. Winds coming out of the west northwest at 14 miles per hour. Look at your real field temperature closer to the lower 30s and the upper 20s. Our real field temperatures across the region at 37 or sorry, our current temperatures, air temperatures in Marquette at 37 degrees. More of the lower 30s as you go off to uh, the west. So Ontonagon, only at 32 degrees at this moment, 30 degrees in Ironwood, so barely in the 30s there. Upper 30s in Florence and Menominee, Crystal Falls also for you at 39. Off to the east, upper 30s in Munising, 43 degrees currently in Escanaba and Ishpeming, currently at 37. Our winds have been breezy throughout the afternoon and very windy as you go back into Houghton at 20 miles per hour, 15 in Iron Mountain and seeing more of the upper teens also in uh, Ironwood, currently at 17 miles per hour. So very windy out there. Winds will uh, die off a bit for us as we head into the evening, but temperatures, they're going to remain golden for us. Also seeing more of those 40s as you go farther south in the state where they saw more of that sleet into the northern half of lower Michigan 50s down closer to Detroit and for our current wind chills. Yeah, more of the 20s starting to show up all the way down to 20 currently in Ironwood and we're going to start to see more of that pink show up possibly as we go throughout the rest of the night as we'll see that cool air arrive tomorrow morning. Wind chills closer to uh, the upper teens as winds will pick up yet again for us tonight. Not that much wind tomorrow seeing more of that wind, but also snow is going to be in the forecast for us as we go into tomorrow as well. Light snow continues throughout the evening expecting around an inch mostly in central and western UP we will stay cloudy, cold and windy as we go into the afternoon on Wednesday with flakes still possible across the region and then we'll just remain cold as we go into the latter portions of this week as it looks like highs will remain below uh, that 50 degree threshold which we should typically be during this time of the year. But here's a look at our setup. You'll notice that we'll see more and more of that mixture as we go in through the out throughout the overnight as uh, the current rain showers that we have in place right now we will quickly turn back to more of that snow as we head into the evening with that cool and windy uh, air mass starting to make its way in from the northwest and tomorrow just looking out for snow, not expecting any type of uh, mixing whatsoever at all. We'll continue to see a lot of the uh, flakes all across the sky, although it does look to be very light in accumulation once again for us, maybe closer to an inch to two inches as you go from central to western UP, and we'll take a look at that here on our FugiCast model tonight, seeing that the skies will be <laughs> filled with the snow. We'll continue to see that all the way throughout the evening tomorrow. Still seeing a chance of scattered snow showers, but once again, most of the snow shower activity will be confined to western UP along the Porcupine Mountains, Ontonagon, Ironwood. Watch out for more of that accumulation there. We'll talk about how much snow we're expecting coming up here in the next graphic, but eventually by tomorrow night, seeing that all the snow will begin to dissipate for us, maybe a slight chance early Thursday morning before skies eventually clear for us heading into Thursday afternoon, but still remaining on the chilly side. And here's a look at how much snow we are expecting uh, through Thursday morning, 7 a.m. coning to an inch close to Lake Michigan and to far eastern portions of the Upper Peninsula, one to two inches around Marquette as you get closer to Iron Mountain, maybe even lost, but farther off to the west there, two to four inches possible for Holton onto Noggin and then also for us in Ironwood. So yeah, I'm looking out for more of the flakes. Winter just won't go away. 25 degrees tonight, chilly and snowy. Northwest winds between 10 to 15 miles per hour. And for us on Wednesday, another bout of winter weather. Northwest winds between 15 to 20 miles per hour. Very windy out there for us. Wind chills will be in the 20s throughout the afternoon. 37 for your high in Florence, 33 in Escanaba, and also at 33 and lots. But tomorrow morning, waking up with snow showers, have the red kids ready for that and take it a little easy on the roadways as we will have uh, some possible accumulations, mostly mostly on the grassy surfaces, but could be a little a few slick spots on the roads. And as you head into your seven day forecast, slight chance of an early flurry early Thursday morning before 
Friday, seeing more of the, that sun coming in. Temperatures in the upper 30s still well below average and will stay below average heading into the weekend, but expecting to stay dry.